how broken taillights may have saved the lives of an elderly couple. That and a suburban police officer who went the extra mile on his watch. WGN's Dana Rebick is live in Park Forest with that story. Dana. Well, this officer says this started out as just a routine traffic stop, but he quickly realized this elderly couple needed help. And with the assistance of another police department, he was able to get them off the road and reunited with their family. It was around 3 a.m. Tuesday near Carlo's restaurant at Fairview and 14th in Chicago Heights when Park Forest Police Officer John Menino pulled a car over with no taillights. Inside, an elderly couple who said they had been driving around lost for hours. I asked them what day it was. Uh, they, were, they, they both got that wrong. I asked them what year. At that point, one of them said, you know what, we have so many people coming and going from our lives, so we're not really sure. So I called for paramedics at that point because um, neither one of them can answer the questions. And therefore, I'm not comfortable with either one of them leaving. The couple said they had just bought the car that day and were trying to drive south out of state, but had no medication or belongings with them. Officer Menino then tried to track down their family. Based on his driver's license, I had that uh, police department go to his house and knock on the door just to see if anybody was there that could offer any help, whether it was an apartment or a multifamily unit. And I found out that uh, they do have a son that lives there who was about to file a missing persons report, but was soon reunited with his parents, who he told police are both suffering from Alzheimer's. To have a, a good result where you figure there's no known end to this if they keep driving away. Do they drive until they run out of gas and nobody knows where they are? Do they uh, slip into some medical condition and crash the car? So just to know that they're able to be returned to their family before something bad happened. I mean, it's, it's probably one in a thousand, if not one in a million stops, but it, it's fortunate. This elderly couple is from the west suburbs and out of respect for his parents, uh, their son says that he wanted to remain anonymous uh, as well as uh, keep his parents identity uh, secret from this story. But he says he is very, very thankful for the compassionate actions of this officer. Live in Park Forest, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Uh, good ending. Thank you, Dana. Coming up as the.